Foot drying is one of the oldest unit operation used by the food processing industry. It is a process of reducing moisture of food to low levels for improved shelf life by adding one or more forms of energy to the food. So, today we are going to talk about the sun drying and solar drying. Hello everyone, you all are welcome to our YouTube channel. If you are new to here and want to learn about the food processing technology, please hit the subscribe followed by the bell. Drying is the removal of a liquid from a material and is one of the most important and oldest unit operation used for thousand years in a variety of materials such as wood, coal, pepper, biomass and foods. Food drying helps to remove moisture. The removal of moisture prevents the growth and reproduction of microorganisms like bacteria, yeast and mold and minimizes many of the moisture mediated deteriorative reactions. The main factors affect the drying rate are physical and chemical properties of food, geometrical arrangement, Physical properties of drying environment, characteristic of drying equipment. The main drying methods are sun drying, solar drying, and mechanical drying. Sun drying involves complete reliance on the power of the sun with the help of natural air flow. Sun drying method can be used to dry fruits, vegetables, spices, fish and meat like products. Sun drying is simple, safe and easy. It needs low capital and operating cost. Also it needs little expertise and it is a convenient method for small scale farmers. But during the sun drying process, contamination is high. Also the product quality is low. It needs large area of land and large number of vapors. Moreover, structural changes and browning can be occurred in the final product. We can improve the quality of the sun dried foods by reducing the size of freezer, drying on raised platforms, and covering with cloth or netting. Solar drying is the drying of foods by using solar dryers which are devices that use solar energy to dry substances, especially foods. There are mainly three types of food dryers. The direct absorption or hotbox type dryers, the indirect or convection dryers, dryers combining the principles of the above two. In direct absorption dryers, the product is heated by direct sunlight. In convection dryers, the product is heated by warm air which is heated by sunlight. And the combined dryers dry the product with the sun and a stream of preheated air simultaneously. Solar dryers can be used to dry fruits vegetables, fish meat, spices, tea, coffee, cocoa, and tobacco-like products. The main advantages of solar drying are it occupies less area, protect from external environment, more productivity in agriculture, healthy and improved quality of the product, and it is useful for energy conservation point of view. Also, there are disadvantages of solar drying methods such as high capital and operating cost, more expertise, loss of volatile flavors, structural changes, and browning. When compared with the sun drying, solar drying has protection from rain, dust, wind, animals, etc. Also, it has increased drying rate. 
no need to turn, less risk of spoilage, label serving and high quality products. So these are the very basic things about the sun drying and solar drying. You can search more through books and research papers. If you found this video useful, please give it thumbs up and subscribe for videos like this. Hope to catch you in next time and thanks for watching.